We have to get another look at crypto right now because China is now reiterating its call for a crackdown on Bitcoin mining and trading. We are hearing that from Vice Premier Liu He, who is making these comments, and it's definitely affecting cryptocurrencies. Jared Blickery back with us on what is happening there. So, Jared, this is something they said earlier in the week, but they're saying it again, and I guess with more detail. Yeah, and to be fair, they said it in 2017. This is really nothing new, but uh, I would say the rhetoric in terms of governments coming out talking uh, uh, negatively about cryptocurrencies has been on the rise recently. So the Financial Stability and Development Committee, committee and that you noted that it is chaired by Vice Premier Liu Ha, uh, they said that uh, they're going to crack down on crypto trading in the country and that they are vowing to, quote, resolutely prevent and control financial risks. So we're seeing the reaction here. Bitcoin's sold off quite heavily on the announcement, uh, was around 40,000. Now you can see it's around 38,000, 37,000. So definitely a developing situation here. And let's check out some of the other uh, coins here. We got Ether, that's down about 16% right now. Dogecoin, uh, got to check that out. That's down 15, 16% as well. So within the crypto space, really seeing some losses here on this news. And uh, it was only yesterday that uh, Fed Chair Jay Powell, he was talking about stable coins, and one of these stable coins is Tether. Now, you're not going to see a reaction in this. It's pegged to the dollar, but my point is uh, we've been hearing a lot of different comments from a variety of sources. So not only China, it's a Treasury Department with respect to taxes and reporting transactions over $10,000. Uh, you have the Financial Stability Council here over in China, and then you have uh, Fed Chair Powell. So all of this put together, it looks like there's going to be some headwinds for crypto going forward. Uh, and you got to wonder, is this Bitcoin ETF in the U.S. ever going to happen? Uh, Gary Gensler has a very full plate, plate right now, and Bitcoin volatility in the past has slowed down the SEC efforts to get that the approval process for these Bitcoin ETFs. And there's now more than a dozen of these sitting in front of uh, Gary Gensler and his crew. So a developing situation here, not the best news for crypto. Yeah, that's a re really interesting and good point on ETF. I, I would ask, though, on the other items, I mean, China, as you pointed out, it's not new. And it's sort of, I'm sort of curious what effectively would change for the crypto market as a result of these measures they're talking about. Mm -hmm. And similarly, in the U.S., that cash transactions rule really just brings Bitcoin into line with cash, with dollars. And so again, I, I wonder if, if the, we're looking at any kind of an overreaction here in these markets. You know, it, it could be the case. Um, all I've noticed is that the uh, these headlines, they, they're kind of clustering right now. And as you said, th this is really nothing new. You could have seen this coming from a mile away because there's been this rhetoric, rhetoric around for years, but it's only, I would say, within the last few days to the last week. And I think it's been uh, correlated with Bitcoin volatility that when the regulators see these things happening, they just kind of take a step back. And uh, no one's saying that Bitcoin is going to pose a systemic risk to the financial system, but uh, there was so much interest when Bitcoin was hitting 63,000, when Ether, Ethereum was hitting 4,000, 4,500, uh, that they probably have to stand back and, and think a little bit because China has their own digital currency now and uh, it's heavily tracked. And guess what? Cryptocurrencies compete with that. And then you combine that with uh, Powell's statements about the stable coin, the, um, the these are currencies. So they are, in fact, competition for the fiat currencies that we live with and pay our taxes in. Uh, just an interesting situation here. So we'll be on alert for some more headlines over the next few hours. Yes, we will. And tweets, for that matter. You never know. All right. Yes. Thanks so much, Jared, for hopping on to bring us this breaking news. Appreciate it.